The exercise includes real guns with real bullets. That's why the first step for officials here was to clear this stadium. The second step, come up with the scenario. This one involves the chemical and radiological attack at Boone Pickens Stadium, along with the sniper. The mock sniper fired five shots, some with crowd noise. The scenario's purpose, to see if any of these sensors can instantly track the gunman. And to see if they sense chemicals and radiation. The data is sent back to this mock command post where first responders would formulate a plan. Here we can uh, cross connect uh, up to nine different kinds of uh, radio networks simultaneously. The system, called Oversight, could eventually be small enough to be carried around in law enforcement officers' pockets. You can put uh, sensors all over the, the area that's of your interest, whether it be a shopping mall or the stadium, and be able to put the emergency management people on top of that immediately after the event. The whole goal, though, is to prevent the event from happening to begin with. Army National Guard members got in on the testing as well. We don't want to show up and find citizens of Oklahoma, you know, exposed to radiation. We want to be here before the event. Practicing for events they hope never happen. This crew says they don't want to keep their technology a secret in hopes that it becomes a deterrent. We want to be able to detect those kinds of things before they occur and, uh, you know, feel very strongly that uh, we want to send a message out that we are going to be working for those kinds of things and developing the technologies to be able to deal with that. So hopefully nobody tries to do it. Officials say that the test was a success. They say it took a couple of months to put together and they plan to do it again. Reporting from Stillwater, Beth Hawkins, 2 News, works for you.